a field full of fresh strawberries. And in a very short period of time, there will be nearly 100 people in this field picking them. All kinds of people. But they do have one thing in common. They're picking these berries for the hungry. And it's estimated that 1.6 million people in North Carolina are what we describe as food insecure, meaning that they're not sure where their next meal is coming from. Many groups help feed the needy, including the Society of St. Andrew, an organization with a 30-year-plus history of helping feed the needy, much of it through gleaning. It's uh, harvesting what's left after the farmer has harvested all that's profitable to harvest. Using volunteers, lots and lots of volunteers, the Society of St. Andrew works with farmers to harvest produce that wholesalers won't buy. Then they distribute it to those in need. Well, it got started in 1979. There were two Methodist ministers uh, farming with their families and they were sort of back to the land, trying to live off the land, and they were doing workshops about farming, and one of the farmers just sort of challenged them. It was like, okay, I've got this truckload of potatoes that's gonna go to waste. Here, you can have it. And so they started distributing it to the needy people in their community. And then another farmer offered them several truckloads of potatoes, and they did the same thing. In that effort, the Society of St. Andrew was born. Volunteers will help glean a lot of different farm produce, strawberries, sweet potatoes, collards, you name it. Keep in mind, it takes a lot of people to help feed the hungry. We have individuals that volunteer, church groups, civic groups, clubs. Today we have a um, corporate group coming out. People of all ages, all sizes, all abilities. I mean, as long as you can go in the field and, and take directions, you can glean. <laughs> the food collected is then distributed through agencies that help provide food for the needy. We take it to uh, mostly to nonprofits in the community that feed people, like today the Interfaith Food Shuttle will be receiving the strawberries. And the Interfaith Food Shuttle serves over 100 agencies in a seven county area around the triangle but we also donate directly to many food pantries homeless shelters um, well any agency that feeds people would be a candidate and we also if um, I tell the gleaners if they know a family who's struggling they can even take an appropriate quantity to somebody that that they know who's struggling so we um, we're very liberal in the way we um, interpret needy. Rebecca, as well as her many volunteers, get great satisfaction out of what they do, and the farmer donating his field also gets something in return. And in January, the farmer gets um, you know, documentation of what he has contributed in the year. And um, with that, then, he has documentation for his taxes. But it's basically a, a charitable contribution that he's getting credit for. And I, I get the feeling that most farmers do it just because it's the right thing to do. 